In this episode, we'll talk about the Walker SCR Catalyst. Walker, with 63 manufacturing plants distributed throughout the world and eight engineering technical centers, is one of the largest emission control manufacturers both for the original equipment and for the aftermarket. Walker is also one of the pioneering companies in the development of DPF particle filter systems for passenger vehicles to guarantee the maximum level of performance of the engine with the minimum consumption Walker takes special care of the back pressure and noise levels of all its products homologating them following the strictest environmental regulations the first SCR catalyst was developed in 1957 since then, SCR technology has been used in industry to reduce nitrogen oxide emissions from factories, boats, trains and many other sectors such as the automotive and transportation industries. The original equipment car manufacturers, together with their emission control suppliers such as Walker, proposed and developed different strategies to reduce the dangerous nitrogen oxides, also known as NOx gases in diesel vehicles, from the actual values to less than 80 milligrams per kilometer. These innovative solutions completely satisfy European Environmental Regulations Euro 6 that was implemented in Europe for passenger cars in 2014. To do that, various technologies have been developed. However, the most common and effective solutions are the Selective Catalytic Reduction Systems, also known as SCR systems, installed on light vehicles since 2010. In general, in passenger cars, the most common SCR configuration is the one where the SCR system is positioned downstream the diesel particulate filter. These SCR systems are composed of several parts such as the additive injector, which introduces the reducing fluid into the exhaust system just in front of the mixer ring. The mixer ring that will mix the reducing agent with the exhaust gases in a homogeneous mixture. The SCR catalyst, where the chemical reactions take place. An additive tank, where the reductant fluid is stored. Two nitrogen oxide sensors, one temperature sensor and an electronic control unit that takes care of all the system. To ensure high nitrogen oxide conversion rates of more than 95%, the electronic control unit calculates the precise quantity of reducing agent needed based on key engine parameters such as operating temperature, amount of nitrogen oxide molecules in exhaust gases and engine speed. The SCR catalyst will then transform over 95% of the existing nitrogen oxides NOx into water vapor and molecular nitrogen, N2, which is the most common gas of our atmosphere, making up 78% of the air we breathe. Despite the system shown being the most popular setup in our actual passenger cars, there are also other possible SCR system configurations, such as the one used by some PSA Group vehicles, such as Peugeot and Citroën, called SDPF, where the SCR catalyst is placed upstream the diesel particle filter. This design has the advantage that the SCR catalyst starts to work faster due to the higher temperature. Let's take a brief look over the technology used inside the SCR catalysts, specifically developed to treat nitrogen oxides. The internal ceramic monolith of SCR catalysts is built with a special copper zeolite coating. This unit is designed to work in a combination with a reducing additive. These additives have many names, depending on the countries. In the US, they're called diesel exhaust fluid. In Brazil, ALA32, but its technical name is AUS32. The most common reducing additive used in these systems is made with a compound of 32.5% of urea and 67.5% of demineralized water and is marketed in Europe under the trade name of Ad Blue. The amount of reducing agents is about 5-7% to of the fuel consumption. A light on the dashboard and a written message in some models will indicate the need to refuel this additive tank when it reaches a certain limit. 
It is also important to remember that high combustion temperatures lead to economic fuel consumption and low particulate levels, but generates greater nitrogen oxide production. Since the SCR catalytic converter subsequently removes the nitrogen oxide from the exhaust gas, the development engineers can use this to configure the combustion process for extremely low fuel consumption, while still remaining within the legal emission limits. We are Garage Gurus. Join our community. Follow us on social media. Thanks for watching this video. The video description contains all the relevant links. Don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and be notified when we post new content. Also, check out our Garage Gurus online course catalog.